Hello. Today I wanted to simplify a bit the the bounce uh, move effect because <clears throat> yesterday I had to do twice the effects for each thing uh, that bounces because um, Godot doesn't have the the yo-yo effect I wanted. So I needed to two twins for each bounce. But I wanted to simplify a bit. And instead of having a semi-bounce to implement a twin uh, method, which uh, lets you call an arbitrary method, with values with a parameter that varies from uh, an initial value to a final value. So, uh, first I need to, let me see, we need to call it bounce again, uh, and we need uh, the distance, yeah, the parameters are the same, but instead of twinning a property, we will uh, make a new function that uh, will adjust the object position according to um, a parameter. So perhaps, uh, ah, let me see, I need the uh, original position of the object so I can return. And here we store the original position of the object. So, suppose uh, we want to, if we want to change the position according to the time we are using, the distance, we need to, uh, let's comment this and let's call the yo-yo position method from zero to one in the time and uh, in this case this should work as before uh, let me see ah yeah the, the same <clears throat> change the name so in this case yeah it doesn't work because we are not returning <laughs> to the previous position so we need a kind of function that transform t from um, sorry uh, t from zero to one, and we need a multiplier that varies from zero to one, and then to zero again. So let's use uh, Desmos. I'm thinking about uh, using the absolute value and we need to, let's see, make it mm, yeah, let's use twice the x value minus 1. So this goes from 1 to 0 and to one again, so we need to negate it. And in principle, we have a nice uh, function here that we can use, but it's too too linear. If we want to make it a bit more interesting, we can use the square of the function. So we have a more a more nice uh, easing before uh, before we reach the values, and these values uh, don't don't matter because we only call uh, this function between zero and one. So let's see uh, one. Um, this is abs. Uh, two times t 
minus one. We need to mm -hmm. and we need to square this value and uh, use it here instead of t and this uh, let's see this should work okay but uh, we are calling it twice because we are still using the old function so we need to refactor this and use the old uh, the old method let's let's uh, refactor okay we restore the the old method of adding the bounds for the player and for each um, each thing that uh, we push and uh, let's see we yeah this should work now let's test yeah nice okay i think this is much better because we uh, don't have so many so many auxiliary uh, state to manage beside the obviously the the bounce uh, twins but uh, i think this is clearer and i should add uh, later um, perhaps a, a pull request to the to the godot uh, project with uh, a new a new uh, kind of, of twin because the yo-yo movements are are very useful so okay i think uh, this is good progress thanks for watching let me know if you know some other uh, easier way to to do this <laughs> um don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos with people that could enjoy them or learn something about uh, design or programming, etc. Thanks.